Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn about absolute value function. Now what is absolute value? Absolute value is the magnitude of a real number without regard to its sign. It is also called as a modulus. In mathematics, it can be represented by the modulus sign. For example, if you take modulus 3, you get the answer 3. If you take modulus negative 3, you get the answer 3. So in other words, we only take the positive value of the given number in modulus. Why do we need to learn modulus? Absolute value can often be found in our daily life. Let's look at this example. In this picture, you can see there is a helicopter and a submarine. Let's take the sea level as zero. The helicopter is located 800 meters above the sea level. Meanwhile, the submarine is located 400 meters below sea level. If we need to find the distance between the helicopter and the submarine, we only take the positive value, which is 800 meters plus 400 meters and you get 1,200 meters. In conclusion, absolute value can be described as the distance from zero. Now let's look at the first example. Given a function f of x equals to modulus x minus 2, find the image of 1 and find the objects which have image 5. To answer question A, just follow the same steps in my previous video. You need to find image, so substitute 1 into x and you get the answer modulus negative 1. In modulus, you have to remember you only take the positive value of the answer. So modulus negative 1 equals to 1. To answer question B, you need to find the objects. So 5 is your image. f of x equals to 5. Modulus x minus 2 equals to 5. Now, you need to understand the concept of modulus. In order to get the final answer 5, there are two possibilities. Modulus 5 or modulus negative 5. So remember, if you take out the modulus sign in an equation, your answer can be positive or negative. In this case, x minus 2 equals to 5 or negative 5 and you get your final answer x equals to 7 or negative 3. Now let's look at the second example. Given f of x equals to negative 3 multiply modulus x plus 2 plus 5. Question A. Find the image of negative 3. Question B. Find the objects which have image of negative 16. To answer question A, just substitute negative 3 into x and you get your answer 2. To answer question B, you get this modulus equation, negative 3 multiply modulus x plus 2 plus 5 equals to negative 16. To answer this modulus equation, you must rearrange all the numbers on one side and leave only the modulus part on the other side. In this case, modulus x plus 2 equals to 7. Then, you can take out the modulus sign where x plus 2 equals to 7 or negative 7 and you get your final answer x equals to 5 or negative 9.
Now let's look at the third example. Given f of x equals to modulus x squared plus 3x minus 4. Find the objects which have image of 6. To answer this question, you need to form this equation. Modulus x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 6. When you take out the modulus sign, x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 6 or negative 6. Here, you need to solve these two quadratic equations and you get four different sets of x value. Remember, you need to check your answer by substituting all the x value in the equation and you should get the final answer 6. Now let's look at the fourth example. You are given two functions f of x equals to modulus 2x minus 1 and g of x equals to 3 multiplied modulus x plus 2. Find the values of x if the function f of x equals to g of x. When f of x equals to g of x, you will form this equation modulus 2x minus 1 equals to 3 multiply modulus x plus 2. You can see there are two modulus signs in this equation. One of the easiest way to solve this question is by squaring both of the modulus sign. Here you need to solve this quadratic equation. In the end, you will form this equation x squared plus 8x plus 7 equals to 0. You will factorize this equation and you get the answer x equals to minus 7 or minus 1. Now let's look at this graph. This is a linear graph of the function f of x equals to x. What about f of x equals to modulus x? Can you guess the shape of this graph? If you can still remember, modulus of any numbers will always give you a positive value. Therefore, the negative part of this linear graph will be reflected upwards, forming a V-shaped graph. Notice the turning point in the modulus graph is also called the vertex. A linear modulus equation can be written in this form. A multiply modulus x plus h plus k where a, h and k are constants. To determine the shape of the linear modulus graph, we need to look at the a value. If the a value is positive, it means the shape of the graph will be a v-shape. If the a value is negative, the shape of the graph will be an inverted v-shape. These are a few examples where the modulus graph are a v-shape. These are a few examples where the modulus graph is an inverted v-shape. Now you need to learn how to find the coordinates of the vertex of a linear modulus graph. You must remember at the vertex, the absolute value is always zero. Let's look at this example. Given f of x equals to modulus x plus 1, find the coordinates of the vertex. To find the coordinates of the vertex, you must let the modulus part of the function to be zero. In this case, let 
modulus x plus 1 equals to 0 and you get your answer x equals to negative 1. When you substitute x equals to negative 1, you will get fx equals to 0. So your vertex will be negative 1, 0. Let's look at the second example. Given f of x equals to 4 multiply modulus 2x minus 1 plus 1. To find the vertex, you must let the modulus part to be 0. In this case, let modulus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. You will get x equals to 1 over 2. When you substitute x equals to 1 over 2, you will get your fx equals to 1. So your vertex will be 1 over 2, 1. Now let's look at this example. Sketch the graph for the following function. f of x equals to modulus x plus 2 given the domain x more or equals to negative 3 but less or equals to 3 and find the range for the function. In order to sketch a linear modulus graph, you just have to follow 4 simple steps. Step 1. You need to determine the shape of the graph. Since the value in front of the modulus sign in this function is positive, so this graph is a V-shape. Step 2. Find the vertex. You need to let modulus x plus 2 equals to 0. x equals to negative 2. So your vertex is negative 2, 0. Step 3. Find the y-intercept. You need to let x equals to 0. So your y-intercept will be 0, 2. Step 4. Find the coordinates of the minimum and maximum value of the given domain. Here, the minimum value is negative 3. So, you need to substitute negative 3 in the function and you get your coordinates negative 3, 1. For the maximum value, you need to substitute x equals to 3 in the function and you get the coordinates 3, 5. After that, you need to plot all the coordinates and sketch the graph. To find the range, you need to look at the minimum and the maximum value on the y-axis for this graph. Therefore, the range for this function for the given domain is fx more or equals to 0 but less or equals to 5. Now let's look at the second example. To sketch this graph, you just have to follow the four simple steps. Step 1. This is a V-shaped graph. Step 2. The coordinates of the vertex is negative 1 over 2, 3. Step 3. The y-intercept is 0, 4. Step 4. The coordinates of the minimum value of the given domain is negative 2, 6. The coordinates of the maximum value of the given domain is 2, 8. Plot all the coordinates and this is how the graph looks like. The range of this function for the given domain is f of x is more or equals to 3 but less or equals to 8.
Now let's look at the third example. To sketch this graph, just follow the four similar steps. Step 1. The shape is an inverted V shape. Step 2. The coordinates of the vertex is negative 1, 3. Step 3. The coordinates of the y-intercept is 0, 2. Step 4. The coordinates of the minimum value of the given domain is negative 5, negative 1. The coordinates of the maximum value of the given domain is 3, negative 1. Plot all the coordinates and this is how the graph looks like. The range of the function for the given domain is f of x is more or equals to negative 1 but less or equals to 3. This is the summary of how to draw a linear modulus graph. Now let's try this question. Sometimes the given modulus graph may intercept the x-axis. To find the x-intercept, you let f of x equals to 0. Now this question is a little tricky. Hope you get the correct answer. Good luck! That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.